I have a very deep interest in uh, real estate mm. and finance. Mm. So there are two questions on both the things, so, right? So in this real estate, you've spent three years approximately in a mm. real estate fund, mm. uh, right? Um, uh, what was, I think it was 2008, nine you mentioned? Yeah. 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 Uh, what was the scenario of real estate back then? Mm. That was Congress era. Mm. Uh, what's the scenario of real estate today? Mm. The NDA era. Mm. Uh, how about different? Mm. If I'm an investor, I want to invest in real estate. Mm. Right. Uh, what should I like? What What are the points should I consider hmm. uh, before investing? What are the rental yields, so on yeah. and so forth? Right. Yeah. Kitna appreciation milega, yeah. uh, etc. How fruitful it is for me as a yeah. investor? Think, uh, uh, real estate from that year, 2008, nine, uh, and now I think there has been a sea change, hmm. and uh, the industry has seen multiple cycles yeah. of ups and downs. Right. Uh, and I mean, within 2008 to 2010. We actually saw complete up and down cycle, right? Okay. Because when, when I joined this fund, uh, it was on an upswing, right? Everyone was trying, I was running after investing in real estate, and then the Lehman Brothers crash happened. Yeah. Right. We were on the verge of launching a global Indian real estate fund, but the moment that financial crisis happened, everything just stopped. Yeah. Right? Full depression. Estate, huh, yeah. Full depression, and the whole it was like a bubble that burst. Yeah. Right. And real estate went through a downward spiral, in, in that sense. But then after that, I think it again came back. Right? And I think uh, from that time uh, till about today, uh, the sector has given good returns. Right, okay. I think it gives very stable returns. Uh, right? uh, I think in terms of uh, rental yield, uh, it can give you anywhere between 8 to 14%. You're talking commercial or yes, residential? Yes, both. Even, even, uh, even residential. Residential, I've almost uh, I've always read and understood it's 2 to 4%. In Come, depends. Depends on where your area is and how you can extract value from that. And I think in terms of uh, the exit returns, uh, all the capital gains returns, I think it can still, now that depends on when you are investing. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course, right. So, like I remember I, I bought a flat in 2008 when we just moved to Bombay hmm. and we sold it about two years back. We oh, were okay. almost making 3x return on that flat. So, right? that's uh, about 14 years, years, 14 years, ah, 14 years. 12, 14 years yeah. made 3x. Yeah. So, yeah. that's a CAGR of? I would say what? 18, 20 yeah, percent. 18, 20 percent. Yeah. Easily. Correct. Mm. You know, so I think, I think even today, uh, but I think the sector has become a lot more professional today. Mm. Right? There are new funding structures, uh, which is why uh, SEBI has now also launched uh, SM REIT. Uh, yeah. Right? So that the people can invest more because they have understood the, the, the whole space has stabilized mm. a lot. There's more transparency. Uh, the whole issue of black money getting into real estate has reduced a lot. Reduced yeah. a lot, yeah. Uh, there's more clarity in the whole, the whole space. And I guess uh, this sector would remain uh, bullish uh, for at least, I mean, I think it's a, it's a very uh, safe asset class to invest. I mean, you will not lose money. And I would, I would believe action. that earlier, I think in, in 2008, yeah. uh, people only with a lot of cash. Correct. Good investment. Business, uh, business right. owners, right. Joe Cash may dealing, you know. Right. Right. Uh, I think those were the pure, pure play investors. Right. Who are investing? I think right now it has changed a little bit. Even yeah. people who are doing a good uh, white collar job, yes. CXOs, managers, etc., yes. they can purchase for investments yes. for a second home yes. or purchase for investment because a lot of white money is being utilized. Correct. Uh, is there something to do with the government and stuff like well, that? I also? think uh, the government has become uh, you know, more understanding, more transparent. Uh, regulations like RERA uh, have definitely helped, hmm. uh, right, to keep uh, developers in check and to understand that where the funds are flowing out. They are very, the, very strict. Yeah, I think. you know, the yeah. funds should not flow out to some other project. Which yeah, yeah, <laughs> which yeah, yeah, yeah. So all those things, as I said, uh, the industry is getting more corporatized, right, more regulated, and I think that's a good for industry. Hmm. All right, understood. Second question regarding the finance part. Mm. Uh, this is also very, and I try to ask this to every guest mm. I have done, mm. you know. So uh, it's a very interesting thing. Uh, what was your first lesson about money? Mm. Uh, when did you learn it? Mm. And from whom? Mm. So I think uh, the first lessons normally come from, as, you, as, as Manish she said, comes from managing your pocket money. Right? Yeah. Because the moment you have money in your hand and you know that this is the only money that you can spend for yourself, hmm. that you you practically learn everything. You know, how to do saving, how to make most for your buck, 
hmm. right? And I think that's where my first lessons came from. Okay. And as I said, my family was uh, maybe the generation was like that. It didn't invest it in anything new or alternative, right? You know, very typical FD savings. Gold. FD is gold. gold. Huh. Uh, but I started out playing out a little bit more on stocks. Uh, had a very small exposure to crypto coins also. But then that would be recently. <laughs> huh. Recently. Yeah. Up. You know, but burn my fingers. Uh, out there well, stocks I keep investing on and off uh, as such uh, I mean I had good returns uh, post COVID because COVID you know, there was a downfall but there was a very good steep also hmm. uh, uh, so that was a good time when I invested money and I was able to withdraw a good return hmm. from it uh, and I think there was also I also learned about being more patient hmm. uh, with your investments right because it's a long term uh, game yes it's a test you know, match correct so I do not I'm not the kind of a guy who will do a day-to-day trading. Ki aaj ye khandam, aur aaj ja raha, hai, mm. I don't want to do that. I Haan. invest the money and I like, keep it lump sum there. And I look at it from three months down the line. Ki kya yeah. you know, so that's, I think those are my broad lessons. Mm. And I think, and I seriously think that alternative asset classes is something which is still underrepresented in India. Why? In other words, why, why is it like that? I think it's more about regulations, it's more about lack of awareness, it's more about lack of right kind of players in the space, right? Uh, but I think with Web3, with when you talk about uh, this entire movement of uh, real world asset tokenizations, right? I think we now hopefully we will have more participation coming in. Hmm. Because with a token, your liquidity has become almost transparent. And right? ticket size is smaller? Uh, correct, ticket size is smaller. So I do not have to uh, hold my money for till I, when I, till I get my exit, for example, right? I know that if I have a token and if I have an exchange, hmm. I can exchange the token immediately and, I, and someone will buy it off from me. Hmm. Right? So I will get my liquidity immediately, even if the returns may be slightly lower, that's a different issue. Hmm. But I can liquidate my money immediately. So right? barriers so, to entry are very less for correct. a small investor correct. or a retail investor. Correct. And then there are very different asset classes which are also coming up. Right? Hmm. People are now investing in wine. Oh, yeah. People are investing in aviation. Oh. People are investing in bonds. Yeah. Right? So I think we are going to see a very different uh, new asset classes coming up, not just real estate, but there are other real estate. Cla- I mean, there are other asset classes which will come up, and people will start investing in them now. Hmm. What was your first uh, salary and your first check, and what did you do with that money? Gave it to my parents. Uh, what was the amount? Six thousand. Six thousand. That was in the PR company which yeah, you yeah. had worked. Okay, got it. So they used to give a very small salary to the entry level guys, but then I was lucky enough to get almost double the jump. In just three months. In three months? Yes. So they were quite happy with my work. Ah. So they immediately increased it to 12,000. <laughs> <laughs> I was Pretty very happy good. with that. And then yeah. obviously, life okay. takes its own route. <laughs>